Hey everybody, Jason here with gd &T Basics with a pro tip for your mental toolbox. Today's topic is CMM and vectors for inspection. Now, CMMs are an extremely handy tool uh, to have in any metrology department, regardless of the industry you're working in. However, with any tool, it's very important to understand how to use it appropriately. And for CMMs inspecting a profile of an irregular surface, it's definitely necessary to recognize and utilize the appropriate vectors of that surface. So what do I mean by vector specifically? Well, let's take a look. A surface, let's consider this surface right here, for example, controlled by this feature control frame with respect to A, B, and C, has a bunch of elements that make up that surface. Now, each one of these elements, if we take this one for consideration, has a vector associated with it. And that vector is normal to that surface or perpendicular. So that vector is going to be very important for us when we consider inspecting this surface with a CMM. So we'll show you two different methods here uh, when we can probe that surface with a CMM probe. And if you know a CMM probe, usually they have a spherical tipped ball on the end of it, uh, let's say six millimeter in diameter, so a three millimeter in radius. When that probe makes contact with that surface, it takes note of where the center of that probe is. In order to do the calculations, it needs to offset the radius of that probe a certain direction to do the calculations of where that surface actually exists. Now we're showing you two different methods here. Uh, again, the orientation of the probe doesn't matter, but the way you approach the surface affects how the probe and the CMM are going to assess that surface. So the left being incorrect, the right being the correct way, you'll notice that the right side is approaching the surface along the vector of that surface element whereas the left is just coming in laterally. And what has to happen again, the CMM knows where the center of that sphere is, it needs to offset that radius in the correct direction. And it's gonna offset that in the direction of travel. So you're gonna see the travel here, indicated by the red arrow of the CMM, it's going to offset the center of that and tell the CMM that it made contact right here, rather than actually having made contact right here. We're on the correct side, since it was traveling along the vector of that surface, it thinks it's right here, it's gonna offset three millimeters and think it made contact here, which it did. So it's gonna correctly assess where it made contact based on the vector of travel towards that surface. So again, when you're taking points on a curvy surface or a round surface, it's important to make sure that you address that surface from the vector of the element you're inspecting. Hopefully that helps clear things up for CMMs and their vectors, uh, especially when inspecting a profile of a surface of an irregular shape. Thanks again for tuning in. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd and and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles written by our training experts.